Paramount, and the heirs to the author of a 1983 magazine story that the original Top Gun was based on are each moving for a federal judge to declare victory in their favor in a copyright lawsuit revolving around the blockbuster sequel. In a summary judgment motion filed on Monday, the two sides trade arguments over the copyrightability of certain aspects of Ehud Yoni's article and Top Gun. Maverick director Joseph Kaczynski's inspirations for some parts of the movie alleged to infringe on the writer's intellectual property. As evidence that filmmakers copied parts of his article, Noni Sayers, Shosh, and Yuval point to scenes and plot devices in the sequel that were detailed in the story but did not appear in the original. At the top list is a scene at a Navy base bar in which Tom Cruise's Maverick has to buy a round of drinks for placing his cell phone on the counter. Paramount maintains that any similarities between the material is a result of drawing from uncopyrightable facts, which were obtained by consulting with the Navy. In a declaration submitted to the court, Kaczynski says that he wrote the scene into the movie after he visited a bar on the base and invoked the club's rules, thereby requiring me to buy a round for everyone in the bar. He denies reading Ehud Yone's story. Paramount was sued last year by the Yone's who alleged that the studio didn't credit the California magazine story entitled Top Guns, that the original movie built on after they reclaimed the rights to the work by taking advantage of a provision in U.S. copyright law that allows authors to terminate licenses after waiting a period of time, typically 35 years. They argue that Paramount made the sequel without securing a new license once the rights to the article reverted back to them in January 2020. The studio says that it was within its rights because the movie draws on uncopyrightable facts. It says that the Yones are essentially looking for an effective monopoly over stories about the U.S. Navy's Top Gun program to prepare fighter pilots for combat. Copyright law does not protect facts or ideas, and it certainly does not allow an author to stake out an exclusive claim to a subject. Simply because he came first, writes Molly Lins, a lawyer for Paramount, and a motion for summary judgment. Any similarities between the movie and Yonui's story, the studio says, is a result of overlapping facts in the works. It stresses that it turned to the Navy, which reviewed draft scripts, consulted on plot lines, and vetted the accuracy of technical aspects of the movie, instead of the article. Paramount contends, with the Navy's partnership, the film hewed as closely as possible to the realities of Top Gun. What plaintiffs claim PPC derived from the article, it actually took from real life. The Yonis note that Paramount long considered Yonis work to be an expressive copyrightable story until losing the rights, at which point it flip-flopped and renounced its long-held legal position it benefited from for decades. They counter that an evaluation of substantial similarity involves creative expression and the author's selection and arrangement of nonfiction content. For instance, rather than offer an encyclopedic narration of the naval base operations, Yoni focused on the personal backgrounds and idiosyncrasies of two aspiring fighter pilots to engage his audience and humanize his story, writes plaintiff's attorney Mark Tobroff. The story's yogi and possum remained at the center of Yoni's tale. Even as it zoomed out and looked into the past, everything was intentionally organized around them. Dismissal and copyright lawsuits typically turn on a comparison of the work's plots, themes, and characters, among various other factors. But the Ninth U.S. Circuit U.S. Court of Appeals has recently turned to directing lower courts not to prematurely toss cases. The Federal Appeals Court last year revived a lawsuit against M. Knight Shyamalan accusing him of ripping off a 2013 independent movie for his Apple TV Plus series Servant, though it was not at the summary judgment stage. The order was issued in a series of other reversals and copyright lawsuits overturning dismissals. The Yonis argue that similarities that appear in the story and sequel but not in the original Top Gun buttress claims that filmmakers return to the article for inspiration. In the story's opening, Yogi and Possum are shot down in training and downcast and, in the sequel, fighter crews are crestfallen when shot down by Maverick in training, though no parallel situation appears in Top Gun states the filing. The story highlights that only the best of the best get invited back to Top Gun as instructors and in the sequel, Maverick is invited back as an instructor. This detail, too, appears only in the sequel, but not in Top Gun.